what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video so me and chris are out here once again on the beautiful tampa bay so in that last video you saw i got smashed pretty good i mean i, I lost a lot of fish i got broke off today i brought the heavier akuma gear i'm hoping that's not going to happen we're going to get out a little early uh it's about noon and we're going to go catch the bait squirrel fish pinfish and get prepared to go catch some big old goopers and maybe some big snook too so stay tuned if you enjoy this video give a thumbs up comment subscribe and turn on them bell notifications guys it helps a brother out you ready to go hey by the way we're booking charters for october only a couple slots left we're pretty much booked up make sure you reach out joshua at saltyscales.com let's go catch some fish well got to the flat and i said chris i hear some knocking that's i said we got to get out and check check what's going on so i think the anode came loose he's like no it's a lower unit well luckily for us the anode did come loose again which i don't quite understand the second time this has happened so of course we don't have the toolbox on boat on the boat so chris is down here with split ring pliers trying to finish loosening the the bolt for the anode because what happened last time was when we were we were going we we're on plane I guess the anode came loose and wedged in between the uh, the lower unit and the prop, and it shut the motor down. Luckily, it didn't break anything, but now we got this problem. So I don't know. Yeah. Is it still turning, Chris? Yeah. Guys, I kid you not, we got a shark while Chris is in the water. That's great. Look at that little fin. <laughs> I'm like, shark. Chris looks up. He's like, wow. That's hilarious, though. Don't, 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 don't. Chris almost got this anode off. That's what it says. Just a little update guys. So I just put on a new hook for my Gamagatsu box. It's a little bitty bait hook. Got a Carolina sinker. And what I'm doing is uh, me and Chris are actually, we pulled up, we have what we call our squirrel fish spot. It's about, I would say it's about 10 to 12 feet of water, but it has a lot of uh, rocks. And the squirrel fish congregate. That's all right, that's all right. You're gonna, you're gonna run through that no matter what. Uh, but they congregate in this area. We've caught about six squirrel fish so far, one pinfish. And every once in a while, we'll come into a puffer fish, which that's what Chris just got, as he switched over to a sabiki rig to try to nab some a little quicker. The current's really moving though. That's what just bit me off. Yeah, that's what happened when we were like, damn, dude, I already took two of my hook. What? Yep, Josh has been a squirrel fish. So we have been, that's uh... That's the money. Ouchie. So, we've already got about eight of these guys in the live well. How beautiful. Squirrel fish. Look how beautiful that fish is, guys. A ticket, um, last trip. Big fish, we did get broke off on some pinfish, but when those big fish were firing, they wanted the squirrel fish. Wanted the big baits, so we're just prepping. I got this new sabiki on. You guys see all the squirrel fish? A lot of times people ask what we're looking for on the unit. Let's check out that. Look at those fish right here in that big hill. That, that's nice. You don't think there's fish all over that? You seeing that? Yeah. Yeah, boys and girls, that's what I'm talking about. Find those. Find you some grouper and snapper. And other things. That's gnarly. That. Guys, John's got the first fish. I barely got him close. Yeah, you 
even add it on. Nice. Still a good fish. Hey guys. Daddy got the first fish. Oh, that's a wicked looking one. He's all white on the other side. You want me to get a picture for the gram? Yeah, it's not a big, it's not a big one, but. Chris, you're on, you're on. Hold on, hold on. Dude, I'm pretty sure you hit it. Oh, man. I see it swimming back under the boat. Don't get me excited. Check that bait. Damn, you, mu you must have got your hooks set. All right, guys. Going back with the old dirty, the old dirty squirrel. You know why? Because that's 80 pounds. That's 80 pounds? That's 80. This is 80. So, unless you want to leave them out there. Fun. Come on, you. I can't do it. I can't do it today. Dude, why is he really going to show up right now, dude? Of course, the dolphins show up, guys. Height. You can't make this stuff up. We got the anode today, and then bait was very hard to find on the flats because we got a late start, and the tide was low. We get to our grouper hole and get everything ready. Got broke off twice, or actually, I'm sorry, I caught one. Got broke off the second time by the big fish. Got, got broke off by a big off. snapper. Chris got broke off by a big snapper. So. Now we're just not even fishing because of the dolphins. So we're gonna wait. We tried to move and run to another spot. It's like they followed us, so. If you fish on the weekends, you got 5,000 boaters throwing shrimp all over the, all over your boat. If you try to fish on the weekdays, you gotta fight dolphins. You always got some kind of obstacle to overcome, but that's all right, because in Jesus' name, we're gonna overcome. Get that right, Pastor Joey. Let's go. It's just gonna make this dolphin scenario worse. Guys, check out all these baits we just got. Woo! Through the net out here on a uh, pot of threadies that was lurking around the boat for protection while li little did they know they were gonna end up on the deck of the boat. So we're chumming them up and we're just chumming them up the dolphin. I just want to let it be known we did pray aloud that the dolphin would uh, leave so we could fish. Thus far, that doesn't work. Now we're scaly, real scaly, salty scales. 
while we got some downtime and we're waiting on these dolphin to leave, make sure you guys go shop saltyscales.com. We work very hard on everything we do. And if you want to support um, not only myself, but Josh as well to continue to make videos on YouTube and just stay in the fishing industry as a whole, please go shop Salty Scales. Even if you just get a koozie or something small, it helps us out. What? We either go to the home or well, we ain't gonna stay here. Talking about over there? Where we just came from. Chris got a little grouper. <laughs> Something. First this, guys. Those grouper were, were chewing. That's your snapper. Yeah, they're, they're a snapper to be caught. No. <laughs> The ones that we've been catching though dwarf that. Yeah, I'm not through too many. Gotta make at least a snapper video. That thing's recording for me. That is. That's a good one. Still not a big one. Here you go, guys. Keep her. Get this video one way or another. Was a big one. I ain't hooked one in so long I forgot what they felt like. They're fun. <laughs> that doesn't get old, Chris. Might have to move this. Up here, just to make my damn. Oh shit, Chris, hold this, hold this, hold this. Oh, dude. That's 
Holy cow. That was a monster. You got your brain. Absolute monster. Absolute monster. You see him almost pull me off the boat? No, I was looking down at your rods. Holy cow. Oh, I think those are mackerel. Broke me off. Did you see that? That was a 17, 18 inch fish. I messed up. Guys, it become the cockroach. Don't put your canoe in the middle of the boat ramp. I mean, that's why we have a kayak launch over there. These guys literally got their canoe in the middle of the boat ramp. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed today's video. It definitely didn't go as planned. The porpoises were menacing, and you don't even know because we didn't film a lot of the time. Um, a lot of swear words were used today, and uh, definitely gonna go look into getting some dolphin pingers. I gotta do it now. I mean, I heard that they were kind of gimmicky, but I gotta find out for myself now. So we're gonna look in and doing that. Let me know below what kind of uh, you know content you guys want to see. I'm receptive to that, I'm ready to hear. So if you enjoyed what you saw, comment below, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the water.